My name is Caitlin and sitting to my left is Claire and behind the camera we have Francis and as a group of journalism students we wanted to understand what this idea of traditional heating was as we've been taught from a very specific lens what traditional heating is mm. mine from more mm. of an anthropological perspective and I think Claire's is more from a um, doing research in psychology and as a group we just thought South Africa is a very culturally rich space mm -hmm. and we wanted to understand healing from different perspectives, specifically traditional healing and what students at Rhodes, who they reach out to. Mm -hmm. And so we went to Jorza um, to go see some Sangomas, some specifically the Amatwasa. Yeah, and we um, worked closely with Mam Sipokazi and we tried to understand what opportunities are available to students and what type of healing mm -hmm. strategies are available to the wider community of Grahamstown. It was Gumtu Ozelwe and a power from Ipeth Amamaki. So Lomde Zelwe and as a power in Jay as Linga and Kuko, Ipeka, Lembo, I am shopping. The Kuko, Halembo, the Bonfu, Kubo, Beko, Ipele, Beko, Mutandazi, Yabo, Beko is Sangoma. Our band by five. But it was a Lina Lamanda Baband to buy five. Yeah. And then it was a Lea Wenza Lumsebens Wawa Band to buy five. So it was a, it's like La Kreka, who was a specialist. Mm. <laughs> After we learned from Mam Sipakazi who the Amatwasa are, we wanted to understand her relationship with Rhodes students as a healer. How often do Rhodes students come and see you? Baninzi Abazayo Apa and the Salazinani Labo. Because there's a lot of people. What type of problems do they come and see you about? There's a different problem, ne? Bane gift, but Abakwazo Sebenzi, sir. Abane Abafumani Sebenzi, Umdufunopangela, but you call the evil spirit of Anileo. Abanye umtu ufuna umzekelo ufunda apeke pambil pati kutwe magaye fort England because of ya pambana pati ibe i evil spirit le nzalanto so different problems. Even though Mam Sibakazi sees a lot of road students, there are some that are still apprehensive about the Amatwasa's healing practices. Some people ne abanye bando they think it's bad ne. And then ke abanye bantu they didn't know but ba hlele bayasinyelisa yabona abayazi but batheta wrong ngathi yabona but abanye ke bayayazi abantu yabona but fully aware as having been one of those apprehensive students i took the opportunity to ask mamsi pokazi why i had been able to attend one of the Amatwasa sacred rituals as someone who was unfamiliar with their practice. Because single mundu oywani and then if the ne problem you can help me, ne? And then if you've got a problem I can help you as early one, ne? So if Uno Siga is a Nanduki Kala e kaz ili to so by two liwa. No matter um shope, um nanti blacky, e color e kazi e one, and then so um to so um to so by two. Yabo. Nalendo, I guess it's Mamsay. Come on, I don't know what I have to be under one the Pelican genus Mamsay. I get a day to put to Banaka look or two kind of country classes of put to my old kai. Come on, Bonga Matos and City Post. What I don't think we quite realized is how multifaceted traditional healing really is. I mean, there's different types of sangomas, there's different ways of practicing. And what we came to, to realize as well is the sense of nature that mm. surrounds healing makes it very personal. And I mean, I know you know that from, you've been working with Mamsi Bukazi. Yeah, so I've had personal experience with working with Mamsi Bukazi in my anthropology projects. And I was invited specifically to go on one of their sacred rituals where we were purging the spirit of a girl that had been murdered in the home of her boyfriend. And given that topic alone and the sensitive nature around it, mm. it was the emphasis on community healing. And in conversation with Mamsi Bukazi, when I'd asked her why I had been allowed to go, it was basically explored how 
no matter your skin color or your backgrounding or your cultural backgrounding, it was important that everybody was in that community and able to take mm-hmm. part in mm-hmm. a healing ritual. And she was so welcoming with all, all three of us when, when we arrived there. We really felt that sense of community. And I think that's something that we also came to a conclusion that healing is about, about the blood that th- flows within all of us. And what I would like to reflect on is if I had to implement the healing strategies that we were exposed to, I would say yes. I did not think that these would be applicable to me before this project, but now Mm. knowing better and knowing that there are different opportunities out there and it's not limited to specific cultural spheres or specific racial groups, I would definitely go see Mama Sipokazi. I think Mm. she has a lot to offer. Yeah, um, I mean, Mama Sipokazi wants to see both of us. Mm. Um, She said to me, come next year and she'll bless us for fourth year, which which is amazing. And it sparked our journey to now go maybe venture into other cultural types of healing, Mm. not just in in the South African context. There's so many different types of healing. So